Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast Online Radio TV Network, restoring vitality to you and the planet. I'm your co-host, Scott Patton. Joining us, as usual, is health coach Martin Patella. He is probably asleep in this entire presentation, this entire our show today, because we're going to be talking about something that comes from Edgar Casey, who is famous as the uh, sleeping psychic. <laughs> Oh, Scott. Pretty oh, much. They're really, they're really milking this one. The sleeping part. I am. I am. But uh, he was absolutely amazing. Like, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't he go into a deep trance sleep state and I believe talk in it? And what he was saying was absolutely amazing in terms of prophecy, but also for the, you know, for the clients that he was doing it with. Yeah. Casey was quite the unusual character because he had absolutely no medical education whatsoever and yet in the, in the trance he was channeling some consciousness that was giving advice to people and the advice was uncanny and it had a lot of success like he yeah. was very successful and he really tried to help people casey's yeah. own life was a series of disappointments he uh, tried to open a clinic that would help people and they managed to open it just as the, I think 1929. And then the um, um, Great Depression hit and within three years they had to close the facility down and, and he just tried so many times to help people. He really was a good, good soul and um, just... He had good karma. <laughs> Maybe. Which, which segues into a, a product, a new product we have at Life Enthusiast that we want to share with you, which is Vintage Karma Cleanse. Right. And I, um, I actually have an empty bottle of it here so I can show it on camera. It's empty because I used it up. So, uh, Martin, in your professional opinion, uh, did you notice any differences? Did, you, did it help? Did it do what it was supposed to do? It tastes very pleasant. And it's very herby, and it's told to cleanse all systems. It's supposed to be a blood cleanse, first and foremost, with uh, many other organs cleansing as well. So, so it yeah. helps the liver, the gallbladder, the pancreas, kidneys, your stomach, your intestines. Um, yeah, and joints and skin and immune. Yeah. Oh, all joints, that. okay. Yeah, I'm going to get a bottle and, and give it a whirl because I have a, some joints and I'm always worried about my liver because I had hepatitis uh, when I was in my 20s and had uh, and my liver just stopped. Uh, I guess it was four and a half years ago now. Mm -hmm. No, it'll be close to five years now, I guess. So uh, fingers crossed. I'm, I'm still here. I'm still doing good. So, uh, but, so this karma liver... Karma cleanse, obviously I have liver on the mind, on the brain, uh, is quite an amazing product. It's not something that just started up uh, last week. Uh, 1924 was when uh, Mr. Casey started talking about this, uh, mm -hmm. this group of herbs. Yeah, this formula has a very um, storied history. But this, this was uh, based on a reading for a young man who had sarcoma and it was said that it was caused by blood poisoning some bacilli growing in his blood and they used some kind of a vibrational electric machine called abrams machine which i don't know if that exists anymore and this formula and then later like after the world war ii a fellow called harry hoxie in texas uh, put together a formula that was essentially a knockoff of this, but told anyone, told nobody that this was the knockoff of Casey's formula. Instead, he cooked up a story about his veterinarian grandfather having observed horses, or I don't know what what they ate and stuff, which was just hooey. But anyway, he was serving this formula to people, and they were getting better. He had, in those years, in Texas, the most successful clinic that was healing people. 
I mean, it well, that was, didn't go over well with the local authorities, I'm sure. No, it didn't. I mean, they, they really fought him hard because, of course, he was not licensed and he was not uh, inside of the system. And his clinic eventually was forced out of business, but he moved himself to Mexico. Yeah, he went to Tijuana and he started the Hoxie Clinic, which was the first American cancer treatment center in Mexico. Yeah, and, and, to, and to this day, they use that formula. And to this still day, there. To the, yeah, and to this day, they very successfully treat people for cancer. Awesome. Of course, right. of course, we cannot say any such thing. We don't treat uh, or mitigate or prevent anything. We just have this juice of a few roots and cherry and, uh, and syrup. That's what we've got. What we do know, and we're allowed to say, is that it's a blood and organ cleanser. When someone says uh, it's a blood cleanser, because I've heard that often, like, I, I, you know, I don't know, it's, I have this picture of, you know, you've got needles in both arms and the blood comes out, it goes into a machine and gets washed up and then it goes back in the other arm. And mm-hmm. obviously that, that's not what this does because you just drink that. No. But, but, but when they talk about a blood cleanser, like what are they cleaning out of the blood? Right. Well, if you could visualize that the blood is the transport system of our body, right? I mean, it it picks up stuff from the lymphatic system, which is the sewage, so the sewer system of the human body. And so the, the lymph backs onto the blood and the blood picks it up from there and transports it to the cleaning organs. And it's the liver and the kidneys and the spleen that do the cleansing of the blood. Like if you didn't have these filtration organs running, you would soon end up with uh, the electrolytes being out of balance and toxic things that you're supposed to get rid of either through your uh, uh, feces or through the urine or through your sweat. They would just accumulate and uh, you'd, you'd just end up poisoning yourself from within. Okay. So blood cleanser then is uh, anything that will demonstrably show that the blood is, is containing less and less of toxins. And in order, in order to do that, it has to be cleansing all of the organs that we just mentioned, which was at the beginning, right? The pancreas, the uh, spleen, the liver, and the kidneys. And so, this is, so it's more than a support for that. So basically what you're saying is junk might accumulate in, say, your kidneys or your or your liver, and this is going to come in and help break that stuff down so that it can be transported out of the body. Right. Well, it doesn't get stuck in the kidneys. It's just kidneys are either filtering it out or are not. So if the function is great, they're filtering it out and you pee it, pee it out. If I support the kidneys to do their job better, then I will have improved the um, health of the blood. Right. And of course, the health of the blood affects the health of every part of your body. Right. So one of the uh, ingredients, uh, herbal ingredients, is wild cherry bark. Right. So where that comes from Prunus, which is a large tree, which goes about 30 meters tall. Uh, it's all throughout North America. So Edgar Casey recommended the wild cherry bark for pulmonary conditions, as well as an aid to digestion. It was also noted for its role in cleansing and building blood. Yeah, and the important line is it will rebuild the hemoglobin within the blood and give more leukocytes to the blood. White blood cells, okay. So another herb is Stilingia. Yeah, Stilingia sylvatica. Queen's delight, queen's root. So (laughs) very, very important herb. Yeah, again, native to North America and... uh, again, known as a blood purifier, digestive aid, and immune enhancer. So we're pushing up on the ability to get rid of stuff and make you more resilient. And if you if you go do the research, we do have the write-up on our website. Um, you can just see how it's uh, reported to further enhance st- stability and uh, getting rid of things that you want to get rid of. Rid of. And Similarly, yellow dock root, another blood cleanser, tonic, and a builder, right? Like we're just hitting the same topic with multiple plants. 
what else do we have here? Oh yeah, the, the poke root, that's, uh, that's a bit of a controversial plant. It's been used for uh, arthritis and hemorrhoids. Well, those are essentially decline in the uh, um, circulatory system, right? Like the, the arteries and the veins are not holding together as well as they should. Yeah, and it stimulates all the extractory systems. So all everything that helps get stuff out of the body, it's one thing that helps stimulate yeah. those things. Yeah, exactly. Helping the body get rid of stuff. And then the other thing that's in there is burdock root. Burdock is an interesting plant. We see a lot of it all around. It's that famous uh, ball of Velcro-like little hooks that they, they attach uh, to the human clothing anytime you go through the forest or brush. The root of this plant, again, hormone balancing, liver purification, the digestive stimulant to the stomach, the intestines, the pancreas, and the liver. Yeah, right. So again, you know, hitting the same same function, just cleansing, getting rid of things, detoxifying, right? So, Martin, this brings up an interesting question. Uh, you know, is there a reason why we would use different plants as opposed to just a lot of one plant that did it? You get more angles. With different plants. Like if I have a liver, gallbladder, uh, pancreas, kidney cleanse in mind, I would like to attack it from every possible angle. I guess if I, if I put 10 guys around you, each one of them with an arrow, bow and an arrow, the chance of them hitting the, th the target correctly is greatly increased, right? Right, rather than one big guy with one big bow and arrow. Yeah, right. So sugar beet is uh, an important part of the karma cleanse. Mm -hmm. They use the German beet juice. In North America, I don't know why, we're growing genetically modified sugar beets. So we tell people do not touch sugar beets in America. But these guys are importing it from Germany where it's not. So what's nice about this is oftentimes the stuff we tell you to to try and to take and that might help you in whatever it is you need help with, uh, tastes terrible. <laughs> so, uh, but this is one where it's like, oh, it tastes pretty nice, which is really good. All we have to say about that is that whenever a body finds itself in a diseased state, it's, as we have said previously many times, one or more of the toxicity, malnutrition, stagnation, and uh, vibrational imbalance. Well, here we're hitting the body with the toxicity issues, just pushing on the detoxification pathways. And so when you get rid of things that are blocking proper function, normal function can resume. So whenever there is a diseased state in the body, serves to reason that something like this would be helpful. So if you took something like this too, would you notice any difference in your weight? Would it help you to push out excess toxins that maybe were causing, you know, one of the functions of fat is to protect the body from toxins. Mm. So if you're able to be more efficient at removing toxins, would that, I'm not saying that you shouldn't, you know, exercise or, you know, eat less bad food and all the rest of it, but it just strikes me as if we're pushing if we're helping the organs that remove the toxins, then we're starting to remove more toxins from the body. The body might start releasing some of this fat. Yes, exactly. It will do that. Okay. Yeah, a, a, a toxic body tends to be more acidic and store more of these toxins it cannot unload in, in the fat cells. So when you unload the toxins, you have a much better chance of not needing the fat cells to, to hold stuff. Is there anything else you want to share about the Karma Cleanse? Um, it tastes pleasant. It's not expensive. And it's effective. So it, how much would you suggest somebody takes? Let's just say, for example, that we're the cochlear, but it's sort of the average North American person. Yeah, this would represent a month's supply, and it's about a teaspoon a day. Did you notice uh, any difference in how you felt? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Lighter, more together. 
I mean, it's been a few months since I did this, and uh, I'm thinking, Phew. the reason I'm uh, asked by the universe to talk about it, to remind myself that I better go and do another run of it. <laughs> right. Uh, excellent. Okay, so if somebody wanted to know more about Karma Cleanse, what should they do? Life-enthusiast.com. Look up, if you type in the word karma into the search box, it'll find it. It's listed under um, the detox products. And uh, if, if that doesn't answer all your questions, we're here at the telephone at 866-543-3388. Wonderful. Thank you, Martin. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to share this new product with uh, all our listeners and viewers. And thank you for joining us, everybody. This has been the Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network, restoring vitality to you and the planet. See you next time. Thanks, Bye -bye. everyone.